Hello, this is Anil Thomas, Garden Master. Welcome to my kitchen, literally. I'm trying to save some of my bitter gods, make use of it, the excess produ uh, produce. Okay, now there are different ways of doing it now. You can see I already cut it into thick pieces, like very thick pieces right here. You can see them really thick. And see these slices are very thin. So make it into thick pieces like this and drop that into a mixture of spices. I'll explain what it is soon enough. Now and put it away. Now this is a mixture of salt, chili powder, and a little bit of turmeric. You can add uh, garlic powder uh, and ginger powder if you want to and make a mix and you can add whatever spices that you like. Now once it is soaked with uh, this masala like kind of powder or this chili powder just let it sit for several hours until it soaks in. You can see it's already soaked up and it's become soft. So uh, let it stay for like several hours maybe five or six hours and leave, put it away, cover it and put it away. And what you need to do is dehydrate it. Dry it in sun, or dry it in a dehydrator, or dry it in an oven. Uh, only thing is you have to keep a close eye when you do it in, in the oven. So this is the ones that we made in the oven. Uh, what happened is it's like partially cooked right now. I mean, you can dry, you can uh, fry it in oil, we'll cook. And this is the one that I dried in the dehydrator. There's a difference in the look. So the purpose is the same. Now coming to another purpose, another use of um, bitter gut is making it raw pickles. Now here you have to slice it very small, like very thin slices. You can see in here, uh, put the slices in here, look at that. Now you have to add some crushed uh, pepper like this. this. These are very small peppers. These are very spicy, small peppers. You can see how it is. And ginger and also garlic. So I usually, what I like is I always crush ginger and garlic. So I added crushed ginger, garlic, bitter gut pieces. And fill it up with more of this and more pepper more ginger and more garlic. Now in addition, just add these peppers just as it is. Now on the top, put a few more pieces of the bitter gourd and that's all you need to do now. The final part is add a lot of salt. See how much of salt it goes in there? Uh, it's up to you. Um, the measurement is based on your own taste. I think now after you add the salt, fill the whole thing with vinegar. The whole thing is filled up with vinegar, close the lid really tight and shake it. Now this is leaking because add and close it really tight. Now close it really tight and keep it away. Uh, at least after a couple of months it will be ready to use. Here's the finished product. This I made uh, I think two days back. And you can start eating it with rice or whatever you want to. This is, and the chilies inside, that also will really taste really good if you are, if you have a very good taste towards uh, spicy food. Now my family loves this spicy stuff. That's why I make this kind of stuff. Now, talking about chili powder, chilies, red chilies. See, these are very hot red chilies. 
and I do the same thing here. So I'm just adding a little mixture of garlic and ginger here and I'm going to add more salt. And then add white vinegar. Fill it up all the way. And that's it. Now close it and really mix it well and put it away for a few months. Now over here you can see the finished product from last year. Look at that. These are extremely spicy red. Thai chilies. These are smaller than the one that I have here. Look, these are bigger. These are like double the size. But these are, I didn't get these tiny ones this year. I usually buy them from Home Depot of Lowe's. Uh, they didn't have it this year. Anyway, these are extremely hot. Uh, okay, pour some of those um, uh, vinegar into the rice and uh, smush this pepper into the rice. My goodness, you will be in heaven. I'm telling you, I can eat only one or two. My children and my wife, they, they eat it like crazy. They eat like five or six. I don't know how they do it, but it's delicious, very tasty. If you have a really spicy taste towards, you know, all this kind of natural Indian food. Okay? All right. There you go. Signing off.